Hello friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to solve a numerical integration problem using Gauss quadrature 3 point method and how to solve it directly on a scientific calculator. So here is our question, find out the integration of 1 divided by 1 plus x cube dx with world limit 0 and upper limit 1. First solve it on the calculator. For that press the integration button, then press the fraction button, 1 divided by 1 plus press alpha and this button for x and press shift and x square button to get cube. Enter the lower limit 0 and upper limit 1 and press the equals to button. So here is the integration answer 0.8356. Now I will show you how to get this answer using Gauss quadrature 3 point method. So let's proceed to the solution. First step is to write down Gauss quadrature table, which is this table. In our case, 3 point or number of points equals to 3. So this part is applicable. Here, this is the value of x1 and x3, and this is the value of x2. And this is the corresponding value of w1 and w3, and this is the corresponding value of w2. Step 1 from the above table t1 equals to 0 which is the lower limit of the integration and tn equals to 1 which is the upper limit of the integration and n equals to 3 since it is a 3 point formula. Now x of 1 comma 3 equals to plus or minus root over 3 by 5 and x2 equals to 0. Similarly w of 1 comma 3 equals to 5 by 9 and w2 equals to 8 by 9. Step 2 finding the tx1 which is equals to half into 1 minus x1 times t1 plus 1 plus x1 times tn equals to half into 1 plus root over 3 by 5 times 0 plus 1 minus root over 3 by 5 times 1 which is the t1 value tn value equals to half into 0 plus 0 0.225403 equals to 0 0.112701. So for the first case, we are using the minus part of this. Tx2 equals to half into same formula, just x2 in plus of x1. So half into 1 minus x2 times t1 plus 1 plus x2 times tn equals to half into 1 minus 0 since x2 is 0 times t1 plus 1 plus 0 times tn equals to half into 0 plus 1 equals to 0.5. Similarly, tx3 equals to half into 1 minus x3 times t1 plus 1 plus x3 times tn equals to half into 1 minus root over 3 by 5 times 0 plus 1 plus root over 3 by 5 times 1 equals to half into 0 plus 1.774596 equals to 0.887298. Step 3. Calculating y of tx1, tx2, tx3. So y of tx1 equals to, now this is the expression, we need to find out the integration of that is 1 divided by 1 plus x cube. And now we will put the values of tx1, tx2 and tx3 in place of x here. So y of tx1 equals to 1 divided by 1 plus x cube equals to 1 divided by 1 plus tx1 value cube. That is equals to 0 0.998570. Next y of tx2 equals to 1 divided by 1 plus tx2 value cube that is equals to 0 0.888888. Similarly, y of tx3 equals to 1 divided by 1 plus this value cube that is equals to 0 0.588731. Step 4. Calculating ix. ix equals to w1 into y of tx1 plus w2 into y of tx2 and w3 
into y of 2x3. So w1 is 5 by 9 times this value plus w2 is 8 by 9 times this value and w3 is 5 by 9 times this value. So adding them up you will get 1.671955. Now calculating the actual i. That's equals to tn minus t1 times ix divided by 2. That's equals to 1 minus 0 times this value divided by 2 equals to 0.835977 is our required answer. And this is the answer which we earlier obtained using the scientific calculator. Isn't it cool? Now there are some other methods for solving numerical integration problem such as Simpson's one third rule, Simpson's three eight rule, trapezoidal rule, Weddell's rule, Boole's rule and Gauss quadrature two point method. I have videos on all the methods I mentioned. Link to all of my numerical method videos is given in the video description below. So check them out. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video. That will really encourage me. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.